So I'm using just uh, basic uh, foam craft sheets. Um, they're very thin, they're about uh, one millimeter in thickness. It's A4 sized and it's one pound for 10 sheets. So obviously 10 pence a sheet, very cheap. Basically I need to cut out four of these. Two will be used as bases like this. And then the other two will be used as the outer bits, the temperature bits that go on top. And this middle piece here will end up with this pattern detail on it. Then I've just coated it with two coats of PVA glue to seal it. Right, because this is craft foam, um, it's quite malleable and basically all you need to do is get some really quite hot air, not so hot that it will melt obviously. I've just used a hair dryer and put it on the hottest heat and blown the hair dryer really close to it and then you just let it cool in the, in the bent position just make sure it stays in that curved position you could you could put it against your arm wrap it around your arm whilst it cools or wrap it around uh, your shin but i've now got two curved van braces and what we're going to do next is we're going to put some of this polyurethane resin on um it's a, a part a part b system I get this from uh, local suppliers, quite close to me, so it's not that difficult for me to get hold of it. You can get it on eBay. Um, you just do an equal measurement of each one of these, mix it together. Uh, you have to be relatively quick at putting it on because it does dry quite quickly. I think this has got an eight minute, um, it thickens after about, yeah, pot life, seven to eight minutes. So basically if you left the lid off. It probably wouldn't last very long. Not a good idea. I just use about um, a dessert spoon of each one. You're not going to need very much to cover these two. So maybe a teaspoon, a dessert spoon, probably be enough. Probably a dessert spoon of each. Um, and then just quickly put a thin layer on, let it dry. And then put another layer on to, to harden it even more. Just keep layer, putting layer upon layer until you're happy with the thickness. And if you want it quite, if you want this to be quite firm and solid, to have nice plastic coating, then just keep putting layers on. Obviously, be aware that the more layers you put on, uh, you know this detail is going to start to disappear. You still get the dint, but try not to put too much in those dints because those bits of detail will disappear once you put this uh, polyurethane resin on. Okay, so I've put about three layers of the polyurethane on. Uh, I'll put it on a little bit thicker at these points just to try and strengthen them. Um, I've also used these pads, which are double sided sticky pads. It's uh, just this floral stuff here. Um, just so that they stick down and hold in the curved shape so that you've got the, the sort of band brace shape. Um, whilst it's drying because obviously once it dries I mean you don't want to dry you don't want it to dry flat so that's what I've done there so I stuck them down so that they dry in a curved shape hopefully when they've finished drying I will then be able to sand them because we don't want these little bits of dribble uh, the gathering uh, we'll just basically wait for it to dry once you've finished it's all nice and hardened and you can then sand off these little bits of gathered polyurethane. Okay, so this has had probably about five coats of polyurethane on. I've put one coat on the inside. And for strength, you know, they're pretty to get in there now. Pretty strong. Uh, I've painted them back again because it helps to show up where there are any little bumps or flaws so that I can then sand them down. 
and now I am doing an acrylic paint, dry brushing silver paint on to give it the silver effect. And then I'll probably turn them over, put some more polyurethane resin on this side to strengthen it, uh, just to give it a bit, you know, it's a little, tiny little bit bendy still, just want to give it a bit more strength. Okay, so that's them finished with the silver acrylic paint dry brushed on. I'll probably finish now with a clear coat lacquer. So, uh, for reference purposes, if you have a look at the van brace here, there is a little black sort of leathery piece with even, before we even get to the straps. There's this little black leather piece here, so I have made a little template here. This is the fan brace bit, you can ignore that line, that's just the fan brace to sort of show where that goes. Uh, this template here is going to be the black piece, and I've just cut it out of black foam basically. So that piece there is going to go underneath the fan brace, like so. There. When I glue it in, I've not glued it in yet. So that's that. Okay, so I've now got these little extra bits underneath glued on. Uh, then it's just really a case of how you want to do the straps and the red material bit underneath. But I think I'll probably use Velcro and then put foam strips on top and paint them the right colour. There's three strips. There's silver, black, silver. I think you'd probably get away with doing them all silver to be honest, but this one does seem to be darker, so I'm going to do it black. So silver, silver, and that one's black. See this black bit here. And that's just a case of putting some material underneath. Um, that's it really.